Hi, Aaron. Alan Cockrell with ABC Hitting Coordinator for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm going to run through your swing a little bit today. Um, slightly open stance, but um, very balanced and very much down into your legs. Um, I like the fact that you are um, loading, loading up when you load uh, back. Really, the term is you know get back. But basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to load into that back leg. Okay. So when I see this weight loading into here, and the way I can tell it loads, in, loads into there is this back knee doesn't get on top of or stacked over that back foot. That tells me that we're loading into the backside. Basically, that's what we're trying to do. We want to get into the backside and gather up, store energy into that back leg so that we can then later transfer that weight and that energy into the front side. Okay, so when we get loaded up and the final stage of loading is, is, is the toe touch position where we see the, the toe start to land. Now, this particular position, <clears throat> what I'm looking for is that hitters will have equal bend in, in, in both knees. Both knees will be inside their feet. Okay, that's a good balanced position. Um, we want this hip line to be squared up. You're pretty good there. We want the shoulders to be squared up. You're pretty good there. We want the hands to be shoulder height and separated behind this back knee. Okay. We also want the head to be loaded up right over the belt buckle. That's a good attacking position right there. Now from here, we can drive and transfer that weight that's stored up into that back side. We can drive this knee forward. Okay, inside and transfer weight to the inside part of this back leg. All right, so I'm going to run forward and see where we get to. The heel plants, and as we, as it plants and starts to drive forward, I see this back knee driving into the into the uh, the front leg, which again is a is a very good weight transfer, and and basically that's our source of power. Um, the lower half is is uh, planted into the ground in a very athletic way and now transferring that weight into the front side uh, everything looks very good uh, when the knee starts to drive we want to see this elbow drop underneath the hands work down into a slot so that when we get to um, this position actually we're just beyond uh, where I want to, want to look at it with you but right here you know if we were to run this back uh, one click, this, this particular video is not going to let us do that, but the hand, the elbow, and the back hip all would be in alignment. And it's at this point that that lower half drive is now passing energy off to the hands. Uh, you've got a good lag position with the barrel of your bat. Uh, it's equal with your hands. It's, the, the barrel is not casting out and around your hands, which tells me that your elbow worked underneath your hands good. And now the hands will start to work forward just slightly in front of your center of gravity. And when it does, okay, we'll deliver the barrel to contact. Okay? At contact, we want to see a, a good palm up, palm down position with the hands. I see that. We want to see the head and eyes looking right down the barrel of the bat at contact. And Aaron, it's, I think it's important for you to know and realize that as soon as the head and eyes come up, to follow the flight of the ball, at that point, basically, our swing is over. The barrel, the barrel is going to follow the, the head and eyes. So if, if, if we can get into the habit, anytime we're doing our drills in a cage, whether it be T-work, soft toss, flips, um, taking batting practice, uh, whether in a cage, on a field, get in the habit of leaving your head and eyes, bury your head and eyes down in the hitting zone for at least a count past contact. And that's going to allow us to get to full extension, get the barrel going through the ball, and, uh, and, and getting to that fully extended point. And now we can go ahead and bring the head and eyes up, and the barrel will finish uh, its full arc of the swing. But if we, if we do it, if we come up too quickly, uh, we're going we're gonna to cut off our swing and not get the extension that we want. Okay? Uh, once we get to this extended point, um, you have gotten the barrel of the bat to fully extend facing the pitcher okay and now we're just going to go ahead and finish the arc of the swing and uh, you finish the swing in, in, in good balance so uh, you know really when I look at when I look at your swing I see I see a lot of good things um, I don't think um, 
really there's a whole lot that you need to work on uh, as far as getting yourself in a better position with your lower half, making your hands work better. I think really, Aaron, just continuing to work on um, what you've been working on to this point and, uh, and, and just pay attention to some of the little things, the minor, the minor things that are going to going to help you become a better hitter as you as you grow older and start to face a little bit tougher competition, a little bit tougher pitching. But, you know, the big thing, when I look at this particular position right here, uh, I see a guy that could handle the inside part of the uh, of the plate on a pitch in and, and, and be able to, to get transfer and get the barrel out front to this pitch and keep it fair. Uh, I see that you're in a position right here to handle the ball middle, work this ball left center, right center, and I see a guy that's in a position to be able to handle this pitch on the outer third of the plate, uh, whether it be a fastball, a breaking ball, a changeup, uh, anything off speed. Uh, you're in a position to be able to get a good drive with this lower half and, and, keep, the, and keep the energy into that front leg and just let the hands, let the elbow slide underneath, and then let the hands get full attention to this pitch, to this pitch, and also to this pitch. So, uh, again, really not not a lot of suggestions on my part. Um, that's, a, that's a solid looking swing. Uh, keep working as you are. Um, I, I recommend working the tee uh, because you can you can set that tee in, in various locations exactly where you want them if you have a problem area. Uh, you can set the tee exactly where you want to. A lot of big league hitters do their entire routines in the cage prior to batting practice off the tee for that very reason. They can work on a particular location or a particular height of a pitch, and um, that's a that's a very very good tool to have. So uh, I would just uh, you know continue to make sure that your lower half stays solid. Uh, you're in good bend in both knees. You're inside your feet. You're very well balanced. You're in a position to get a good, proper weight transfer. And as I mentioned, get to all three locations, inside, middle, and away, uh, with, with equal ability. So keep up the good work, bud. And I uh, really want to thank you for coming to our camp. Best of luck.